Over the years, Teresa Judici of The Real Housewives of New Jersey has delivered on her promise to always bring the drama to the Garden State franchise. Since day one, the mother of four has not only been charismatic, but she has also been brutally honest in her own way, whether her co-stars like it or not. Teresa knows that every time she hems it up for the Bravo cameras, her paycheck and ratings grow, so it doesn't look like she will ever stop acting out. Teresa is a staple cast member on RHONJ, and has been starring on the popular show since its premiere season in 2009. She's best known for her extreme freakouts and ongoing conflicts with fellow castmates, including her brother Joe Gorga and his wife, Melissa Gorga. Teresa has also attacked her other co-stars like Margaret Josephs and Caroline Manzo, especially when they don't side with her. The mother of four daughters was married to Joe Judici before marrying Louis Rulas this past August. In June 2013, Teresa and Joe served separate prison sentences. Even behind bars, Teresa still knew how to create memorable moments. 10 Teresa Judici's Battle with the Joes in the Catskills, RHONJ Season 3. The first major argument that showed how calculated Teresa was took place in the Catskills. This RHONJ season 3 blowout was led once again by Teresa. As she yelled at her brother for being a bad sibling, her husband, Joe Judici, came in and charged down Joe Gorga for speaking harshly towards the Aug. As the men fought it out, Teresa was nowhere to be seen, as she ran out of the ballroom trying to pretend she had nothing to do with the blowout. 9 Teresa Judici is off to the races, RHONJ Season 2. Teresa's run around the New Jersey Country Club in order to take on her arch nemesis Danielle Staub in RHONJ Season 2 was unforgettable. At the time, viewers started to see how unhinged Teresa could become when she felt slighted. While trying to clarify that it was Danielle's fault she became so angry during RHONJ Season 1, Teresa accidentally called the show's villain Honey. When Danielle told her not to call her that name, Teresa lashed out, yelling, is bit asterisk H better? Instead of backing down, Danielle once again poked the bear as she made fun of Teresa's money issues and small upbringing in Patterson. As Danielle tried to make her escape, Teresa and Jacqueline Lorita were in hot pursuit. What followed was mayhem as dishes were broken, people were shoved, and a once popular country club wondered if they needed to do background checks for their next occasion. After two laps, Danielle made a beeline for the exit, but was ambushed by Jacqueline's daughter, Ashley Malio, who pulled the extensions out of her head. Even though Danielle had retreated to the comfort of her friend's Bentley, Teresa continued to stalk her prey until the very end, watching the car drive off. Never has someone made running in heels look so easy. 8 Teresa Judici's Unsacred Christening Moment RHONJ Season 3 RHONJ Season 3 gave viewers a lot to digest, which included an unholy baptism by fire. The family had gathered to honor Teresa's nephew baby Joey Gorga, but the evening took a turn after she felt she had been snubbed on the dance floor by her brother. During an awkward scene when Teresa and Joe Judici were dancing with the baby, Melissa called her sister-in-law out for playing with the optics and told cameras that Teresa didn't go to the hospital for the birth or attend the church ceremony. After Teresa tried to congratulate the new parents, Joe Gorga told his sister to take a walk, and he then proceeded to call her garbage. Sadly, Gia Judici was trying to pull her mother from the conversation, but the damage was done. 
as Teresa walked away. Joe Giudice took over, and he got into a fist brawl with Joe Gorga. Sadly, the carnage was bad enough to ruin the event. 7. Teresa Giudice convinces Danielle Staub to attack Margaret Joseph's RHONJ Season 10. During RHONJ Season 10, Teresa's idea of payback went too far when she convinced Danielle to attack Margaret while they were all shopping in a luxury store. Teresa and Danielle were caught mocking the Macbeth collection owner, with cameras catching Teresa whispering do it to her former enemy. What entailed was chaos and whiplash that left everyone in the store concerned for Margaret's safety. 6. Teresa Giudice shoves Andy Cohen at the reunion, RHONJ Season 2. During the RHONJ Season 2 reunion, Teresa once again became enraged with fellow cast members. However, Andy Cohen tried to keep her at bay, but soon realized he was no match for Teresa and her strength. Andy was flung back into his seat like a feather, and Teresa lunged for Danielle. The reunion moment was hectic, as the argument between Teresa and Danielle ignited when Danielle thought it was a good idea to talk about Teresa's family. The low blow was something the RHONJ housewives learned never to do, noting husbands and kids were off limits. Teresa tried to make her point by screaming in Danielle's face. The fight initially started with Danielle being accused of trying to have Jacqueline's daughter taken away and putting a gag order on her. Caroline stuck up for her blood and immediately shut down the conversation, noting it was under litigation. The conversation took a turn when Danielle accused Teresa of not acknowledging her nephew at his christening. This may have been the start of the Gorga and Judici drama. 5. Teresa Judici almost recreates table flip in Nashville, RHONJ Season 12. After RHONJ Season 12's massive argument where Teresa body shamed Margaret, the ladies thought a trip to Nashville would help them reconcile. However, the easy-going tunes of the city did nothing to tame the wild beast that is Teresa. During a sit-down dinner with the wives and husbands, Teresa lost her cool when Margaret called her out for being a liar. In one fell swoop, the barbecue was wiped off the table with Teresa ready to flip out while pushing the food, drinks, napkins, silverware, and glassware toward her enemy. 4. Teresa Giudice accuses Melissa Gorga of being a Stripper, RHONJ Season 4. Teresa just can't help herself when it comes to her ongoing feud with her sister-in-law, Melissa. In RHONJ Season 4, Teresa came up with a plan to try to set Melissa up by implying she had once been an exotic dancer. After having a man who claimed to be Melissa's former boss say hello to her, Teresa followed her into the ladies' room, where she proceeded to tell Melissa that the man had claimed to be the strip club owner. What followed was the start of a very long and ugly falling out between the Gorgas and Judices that's still going on to this day. 3. Teresa Judici reunites with daughters after returning home from prison, RHONJ Season 7. The worst part about spending time in prison for Teresa was being away from her four daughters and ailing mother. During RHONJ Season 7, Teresa arrived home after spending 11 months behind bars for her part in mail, wire, and bankruptcy fraud. Bravo cameras caught Teresa walking into her mansion with no makeup, straight hair, and no spray tan. Even though Teresa was a felon, the reunion with her kids showed just how much she had given up, all due to not reading the paperwork that Joe had asked her to sign. 2. Teresa Giudice Her daughters reunite with Joe Giudice in Italy, RHONJ Season 10. 
One of the most heartwarming moments was during RHONJ Season 10 when Teresa and her four daughters made the pilgrimage to Sala Consilina, Italy to visit Joe Giudice after he was deported from the United States. The reunion tugged at heartstrings, as Melania Giudice raced up the steps to embrace her father. On the same trip, Teresa also revealed she no longer had feelings for her husband, noting a divorce was imminent. One Teresa Giudice's iconic table flip, RHONJ Season 1. Without a doubt, the most memorable moment of Teresa's reality TV career was the RHONJ Season 1 table flip. Back in 2009, Teresa was still very much her over-enthused self who didn't take any guff from anyone, not even Danielle. During Season 1, the network was still unsure how the Jersey franchise was faring, but Teresa single-handedly saved the franchise. The entire first season of RHONJ had depicted Teresa as a doting mother and wife who was sweet. While hosting a cast dinner, Danielle, who was the real housewives of New Jersey villain, confronted the women for gossiping about her past indiscretions. Danielle placed a copy on the table of cop without a badge, which was a book that shared information about her ex-husband. The women have gossiped about Danielle stripping, changing her name, and having multiple lovers. It all came to a head when Danielle was a bit too sassy, causing Teresa to lose her cool as she demolished the entire table, including the food, and yelled, Prostitution WH asterisk re, at her cast mate. There's no denying the move thrust Teresa into icon status. Let's